Hey guys, that Glock guy here. I thought I'd make a quick video detailing all the recently added guns to the California roster. We've had quite a few in the past week or so. All these guns are being added because the Bolin vs. Bonta case was challenged the roster requirements. Reno May was heavily involved with that case, so if you guys could go to his YouTube channel and give him a sub to say thank you, that'd be great. Now, on to the guns. The first gun added to the California roster was the P365. This version of the P365 will incorporate a pop-up loaded chamber indicator along with a magazine disconnect as both of those items are requirements on the California roster. The micro stamping requirement of the California roster has currently been beaten by Bolin and that is why we're seeing all these new guns. So the first gun, like I said, added to the California roster was the P365. After that, Smith & Wesson started adding some guns, including the Shield Plus. This is the upgraded version of the Shield 2.0. It will also incorporate a loaded chamber indicator and a magazine disconnect, as all these guns will. Next, Smith & Wesson added the 2.0 Compact. This is very welcoming to see because I don't remember the last time we could get an MP full size or compact gun from Smith & Wesson here in California. For the past five years or so, all we've been able to get in the MP lineup was the 1.0 Shield. So it's nice to see that they've added the 2.0 compact along with the 2.0 full size. Both of these guns will be awesome additions to the roster and I'll be looking forward to them. Next, Springfield Armory added their Hellcat. The Hellcat is a highly desired carry gun along with the Shield Plus and P365. So now Californians have a great uh, availability of carry guns to them that they never had before. Now we just don't have to carry old Glock 19s and Glock 26 Gen 3. Anyways, the next gun added by Springfield Armory was their Hellcat Pro. This is a really awesome gun as it is essentially a skinny Glock 19 with a magazine capacity of 15 in the flush mag in a free state. Of course, we will not see that 15 round mag as we will only be allowed a 10 round mag because we are California and have silly laws. Next up, Springfield added the XDM Elite. The only info we have missing currently though is whether it is the 5.25 XDM Elite or whether Springfield chose to add the four and a half inch XDM Elite. We will have to wait until these guns hit gun store shelves to know whether they added the 5.25 or the 4.5 XDM Elite, but either addition will be highly welcomed. So there you go. We got seven new guns added to the roster. Now we have a bunch of cool carry guns added to the roster and a better gun choices for everyone. Unfortunately, I doubt you'll see any new Glocks like Gen 5 Glocks or Glock 43Xs or Glock 48s added to the roster as I don't think Glock will be able to incorporate a magazine disconnect feature with their design. I really don't see how they can do it. They already do have a loaded chamber indicator, so they're halfway there, but I really don't see how they're gonna be able to add a magazine disconnect to their design. So we probably won't see any new Glocks until the roster is fully abolished. Thank you guys for listening. Make sure you subscribe, like, leave a comment, letting me know which one of these guns you might be getting, and have a great day, stay safe, have fun, and go shooting.